In today's video, we're going to look at what is the fastest WordPress theme. As we go into 2023, I wanted to have a look. If you're thinking of building a new WordPress website in 2023, which theme should you choose if you're looking for the fastest one? So I'm going to be comparing some of these very popular ones that we featured on the channel many times before. Astra theme, Bloxy theme, Cadence, Generate Press, and Ocean WP. So these are all marketed as being quite fast WordPress themes. So I wanted to test these out and see what the difference is between them. So I'll just cover the methodology that I used to conduct this testing. So I used a basic website that I built myself, no caching plugins, no other optimizations, just a theme and a page. I only used standard blocks in the standard editor, the Gutenberg editor that comes with WordPress. No builders, no Elementor, no Divi, none of those things. I used the same server, the exact server was used for each test. So a very basic server, one CPU, one gigabyte of RAM, Ubuntu and Plesk uh, panel. And I'm testing this using GT Metrics and Google Page Speed Insights. I'm running um, three tests of Google, three tests of GT Metrics on each theme and taking averages. And I'm going to consider the overall page score on those tests. And I'm going to have a more detailed look at the page size, number of server requests, how much CSS, how much JavaScript is being loaded by each of these pages. So if all this sounds interesting, then keep watching. So I built a fairly basic little site here, just some images, some text. Um, we've got a search bar and a menu up the top here. So that is all we really need to test our themes. And starting with GT Metrics, you can see all these tabs I've got open here with all the tests open, three tests for each page. Um, so I'll just go through the averages so you can see the final result. All right, for our GT Metrics results, they are all quite close in the top four. So we've got Astra and Bloxy on 91, Cadence with 90 and Generate Press. Um, slightly ahead with 93, Ocean a little bit behind with 84. We can go through why I think this was in a few minutes, but I'm quite impressed with that top four. All the data is there if you want to look more closely at the averaging. Um, but uh, 2023, the default theme actually also scores 91. So that is quite interesting. Um, upgrading from the default to one of these um, nice themes, you actually get a lot more customizability than you get with a default WordPress theme. So really nice that Astro Bloxy Cadence and Generate Press are able to achieve um, everything they do without really slowing down your page at all. So quite impressive um, from the top four there. I want to show you a little bit more of the details because GT Metrics gives you a lot of info and I just wanted to focus on the actual total size of the page. So this page, um, around 900 kilobytes, close to one megabyte. If you use the default WordPress theme, you can see we've got 867 kilobytes here. And by upgrading your theme, you actually add a little bit, but not very much, maybe 20 or so kilobytes. So not really a noticeable um, overhead by adding a theme. Um, like Astro Cadence, Boxy, Generate Press, um, doesn't really make a big difference. Ocean did actually add a little bit more than 100 kilobytes, so that was noticeable. And probably the most important thing is um, CSS and JavaScript. Adding a new theme, usually CSS is what gets added to make um, your theme more um, functional. So you can see that the 2023 theme only gives four kilobytes of CSS, but um, all of these other themes add a bit of CSS to your page to make it more um, functional. So uh, we can see all of these around 20 or 30 kilobytes worth of, of extra CSS. Ocean has 50. And same with JavaScript, not really any significant increase. GeneratePress actually reduces the amount of JavaScript from the default, interestingly. So that's kind of cool. But Ocean um, definitely adds more um, JavaScript, adds more CSS. So that's probably why Ocean was a little bit slower. Um, these ones did very well. Same with the actual um, requests, the server requests. 2023, the default makes 18 requests. All of them are very similar except for Ocean, which adds more requests. And same with um, the script requests. 2023 adds two CSS requests. You'll see Cadence actually adds a few more. Um, same with Ocean. Um, JavaScript, um, they don't really add anything. In fact, they actually reduce um, the number of JavaScript requests. Ocean adds quite a few JavaScript requests. So we can see why Ocean is performing a little bit slower, but um, all of these are doing really well. Um, it's worth noting that when you install optimization and caching plugins like Rocket or um, Total Cache, you can actually reduce these even further. So um, I didn't use any optimizations or caching plugins. So this is just uh, the default um, request that you get when you run these themes um, fresh install. All right, now moving on to Google PageSpeed. This is the one that people are quite um, 
focused on usually, I think, because it does use it as a ranking factor in Google search results. So people always want to make sure they have those um, green core web vitals. The good news is all of these themes achieved um, green core web vitals with the test page that we were using here. So um, practically identical results here. Um, 99 for everyone, 98 for um, Astra, 98 for Ocean. So basically a tie in Google Page Speed. So very small difference um, depending on which theme you're using in Google Page Speed. It's worth noting that 2023, the default theme scored 100. So the, the default theme actually won this benchmark. Um, all the data is there, but um, you won't have any uh, Google Page Speed issues uh, as a result of using any of these themes. So that is worth noting. And what I mean is all these core web vitals down here are green for all of these themes. So totally fine performance from all of them when it comes to Google Page Speed. All right, so time for our conclusions. So I would say Astra, Bloxy, Cadence, and Generate Press, those top four, they're excellent lightweight themes. They don't really add any bloat, even compared to the default blank WordPress theme 2023. They still perform excellently. Ocean WP does add a little extra weight. It still performs solidly like we saw, but this is usually due to the theme customizer. Ocean WP has a very detailed theme customizer, lots of menus, sub menus, tons of things you can do, even in the free version. So that's probably why Ocean is a little heavier than these other ones. Generate Press is very slightly faster, but what I found with using Generate Press is the free version is very limited compared to the pro version. So I'd say if you want Generate Press, you probably want to get the pro version. Um, the thing with Astro, Bloxy, and Cadence, their free versions are all very, very generous. So uh, you can get away with using the free versions of these ones quite easily. But Generate Press, if you want to use it, I would say go for the pro version. I'll put links to the pro versions of all of these in the description if you want to check those out, um, if this has been helpful. Um, so I would say Astro, Bloxy, and Cadence are my favorite free themes. Excellent performance with lots of free features, but the main takeaway here, theme is only a very small influence on your page speed. So things like page design, plugins, plugins, especially heavy plugins like page builders, e-commerce plugins, those are gonna make a much bigger hit to your page speed than the choice of something like Astro versus Cadence or Bloxy. So um, pay attention to those rather than the theme. I think if you've got a good theme, um, you're, you're pretty well covered. Um, also, your hosting will have a much bigger factor. If you want um, hosting set up similar to what I've done in this video, I'll put a link in the description as well where you can get free trials to a server like this so you can set up your hosting. I'll put the tutorial link up at the end screen as well if you want to have a step-by-step -step set up tutorial as well. But um, hopefully this has been useful and you've learned something, but um, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. But thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.